For Halo Infinite's campaign to be the smash success that Halo fans hope it is, both the campaign and multiplayer are going to need to hit it out of the park. A month or so ago, we went over the features that the multiplayer is going to need, and today we're going to go over the features that the campaign needs with the help of my friend Holotide. Before getting into the features though, we must acknowledge one thing, and that's that Halo Infinite's campaign is going to be totally new ground for Halo as a franchise. Not only will open world or pseudo open world totally change things up, if this game wants to last as long as 343 says it's going to, supposedly 10 years, a lot of changes are going to need to be made to the formula to make it a bit more replayable and to give it a bit more longevity. But also, with the multiplayer going free to play, the campaign alone is going to need to justify the price tag that it's given, unlike in the past where it was all one package deal. So with that little kind of disclaimer and section out of the way, I'm actually going to kick it over to Holotide to start off the features that Halo Infinite's campaign needs. Hey everyone, Holotide here, and these are a few things I think Halo Infinite needs to make sure that the campaign is enjoyable and offers an incentive to play since the multiplayer will be free and separate from the campaign side. I think in order to justify the price tag for Infinite, the campaign will need to be substantially large in terms of content and also replayability. Backtracking has been something that previous games used to make the game feel a bit longer and also offers a different perspective to the level, but in Infinite, I believe they will need to expand on the premise and offer more variation in level and world design. As of now, I am not sure if Infinite will function in the same way as past games in terms of loading up a level and completing it. To load the next cutscene for the next mission, I think Infinite will be more open to the player and their choices of how they want to continue the story and won't focus more on a linear playstyle. I believe that 343 will work hard to provide alternate gameplay loops for the campaign that will allow people to experience missions in different ways, which I think will be important for the game in the long term. To be more dynamic in terms of environment such as weather or different encounters depending on the day and night cycle is something I think really needs to be implemented for this game to feel like it is a step forward for the franchise. I also think having different biomes or environmental settings will be important and making the world feel alive and expansive. While this may seem like something small, I truly think it adds to making the world feel more diverse and helps players have the attachment to certain missions or aesthetics. The Flood. Even if it's just a teaser for a larger expansion or DLC down the road, any type of hint or cutscene showing an infection form hiding in the dark would be extremely welcomed. I do think having new enemies or species to fight against is important. And while it's been a while since we fought against Brutes and Elites, I think that having a new strain of the Flood with a couple different forms would be a ton of fun to see back in the franchise. I think that Halo needs to evolve on how we partake in combat against the enemies, and this includes elites, brutes, grunts, and whatever else we encounter on the ring. We saw the brute toss a suicide grunt, but we need to see more expansion on it so the game doesn't feel the same each time we load it up. Maybe there are different variations of enemies at night that have different combat styles, such as you know hiding and then ambushing you, and I, I truly believe that variety is the spice of life in terms of video games and combat. Something else that I would like to see included in the game would be a special set of missions similar to Strikes and Destiny that you can load up and complete with friends or even match make with other players who are queuing up. I think Infinite will need to expand on what campaign means and evolve into the more player versus environment as opposed to just a regular story that you play. With all the talk about a semi-open world, one can only assume that the game won't be near as linear as the past iterations, I think it's a real possibility you see something similar to the Strike playlist in Infinite. I believe you must give players an incentive to want to hop into the PvE side of things, and players like to be acknowledged and rewarded for their actions and commitment. Perhaps you run a mission where you fight a Brute Chieftain, and your reward could be something you equip on your armor such as a pelt of fur you can wrap around your waist or a necklace made out of his teeth. Maybe that's a little too much. But those are just a few things I think that Halo Infinite will need to be successful going forward. Thank you Mr. Holotide for sharing your opinion, and now we'll kind of hop into some of the features that I think it needs. The first feature that I think is going to be really important is just cool side quests or things to do in the world that aren't just filler. 
As the game goes to open world or pseudo open world, however it ends up kind of playing out, one thing that's going to be important is cool side quests or just various side tasks. They don't necessarily need to be called side quests, but various things for the players to do that aren't just the main objectives of the main missions, just like any other open world game would have. However, it's going to be really, really important that these side quests actually have some unique features to them and aren't just the generic go here, kill X amount of this, go here, collect this, etc. that sometimes you see in various open world games. Luckily, Halo's world is extremely vast with lore and different enemies and all sorts of cool things that 343 can use to show off different things to the player base that aren't necessarily big enough features or big enough characters, etc. to warrant being in the main story, but these could fit into really cool side quests. Another thing that would actually be really cool too is maybe there's some forge integration with side quests. Maybe the community can actually go in and if we have AI or even if we don't, maybe the community can come up with maze to make different side quests and whatnot. And then from there, maybe 343 curates them, or maybe there's a file browser for players to be able to go through and find different side quests that they want to play. And maybe these somehow tie back into the main campaign, whether they give you experience or unlocks or something like that. The next feature that I want to see is fun and iconic change of pace sections. So when I say fun and iconic change of pace sections, the first thing that comes to mind to me is the end game Warthog runs from games like Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3. When I was a kid, those were my absolute favorite levels of those games, and I can't even tell you how many times I played the final level of Halo 3 just for that Warthog run. Me and my friends used to hop into that baby and just play it over and over. We would race, we would mess around, we would try and do it with different vehicles, we would try and screw over the other ones in co-op. That level alone probably accounted for a majority of the replayability that I got out of the Halo 3 campaign just because it was so much dang fun. And that's what Halo Infinite's going to need. Now I'm not saying it specifically needs a Warthog run, but it just needs fun change of pace sections that aren't your generic fighting ground enemies that you see in every other level, but rather things that totally change up the gameplay style. And I would love to see new and unique innovative ideas here too, besides just things that we've already seen from the Halo franchise. Now I know the quote unquote platforming sections of games like Doom Eternal and Titanfall 2 aren't players favorite sections, but maybe a little bit of first person platforming could be kind of cool too if it's immersed between combat sections or they do it in a good way. One thing that you have to say about Halo 5 is the movement was actually really fun if you got good with it. So maybe in Halo Infinite, they could have little sections where you actually have to learn some of the tricks of the movement mechanics to be able to get through them. Although obviously they can't make it too difficult because you don't want people to get stuck. But just little sections here and there, I don't want to see a ton of platforming. But maybe a little section here or there that really puts a shine on the movement system and allows players to have some fun with it. Of course, there's always turret sections and stuff that you see from other games, but I'm not a huge fan of just plain turret sections, so I hope that the change of pace sections in Halo Infinite's campaign are fun and unique and iconic because that is what we really need. Next up is customization. So obviously, as we've seen from the gameplay footage so far and the cutscenes so far, you are going to be playing the Master Chief in the campaign. Now, the Master Chief has his set look, and I don't necessarily want to be able to totally change up the way Master Chief looks, especially on a first playthrough, but having some armor customization or even maybe a ton of customization once you finish the game could be really cool as it lets players put their own spin on the character that you're playing and you can get some pretty funny cutscenes with various different armors. I know one of the reasons that a lot of people like Halo Reach's campaign is because you get to play your own Spartan throughout the campaign and you see him in all of the cutscenes, which is pretty cool. As you unlock cool and different armors, you can hop into the campaign and you see your cool Spartan in the cutscene. Now the last feature, and this one actually kind of ties into customization, but the last feature is unlocks. And so Holotide touched on this a little bit toward the end, but basically what I want to see out of Halo Infinite's campaign is cool ways to unlock different armors and skins through playing the game, whether that's through something like a strike that he mentioned or 
It's just finishing the campaign on a certain difficulty or killing a certain amount of this enemy, etc. Just different ways to unlock different armor pieces and customization pieces for your character would be really cool. And then you could go and use these different things that you've unlocked either in the campaign to give it a little bit more customization and user control over what you're kind of playing and what you're seeing. And hopefully these unlocks also carry over into multiplayer. So it kind of gives people an incentive to check out the campaign, unlock some different armors, and then go over and check out the multiplayer and use the different armors that they've unlocked. And maybe they'll end up enjoying the multiplayer or maybe they won't, but at least it would give them incentive to check it out. And vice versa too. If you need to play the campaign to unlock certain armors for the multiplayer, you might get players playing the PvE and campaign sections of the game that normally would just be multiplayer players. Obviously, these aren't all of the features that Halo Infinite's campaign needs, but these are just some of the features that I and Holotide think would make Halo Infinite's campaign successful. Make sure you guys go over and check out his channel. He streams and makes YouTube videos and TikToks. I'll throw all of the links in the description. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you want to catch me live, I've been streaming on Twitch a ton lately, although I got some sad news for you. A lot of the time it has been Valorant because I have a bad addiction and it's becoming a problem. Or if you just want to read random things, I tweet sometimes on Twitter and you can follow me over there. And I'll see you all next time.